Welcome to City Talk. I'm Mary Pat Baldolf, Sustainability Facilitator for the City of Columbia, and we're here today to tell you about our Solar Scene Breakfast in January. My name is Sarah hummel Reka, and I'm the Community Outreach Manager for Solarize South Carolina, which is a program of the nonprofit Smart Power, and I'm also chair of the South Carolina Solar Council. We had the Green Business Conference scheduled during Hurricane Matthew, and we had to cancel it. So we decided this was a really important segment and to pull it out and to do a, like a mini, mini conference or a workshop so people could, I mean, solar is huge right now. So we wanna be sure we educate people about it. Solar has actually um, grown tremendously in South Carolina in the past year. We've gone from number 36 in the country to number nine in just a year in solar growth. Um, which is awesome, and there's some great incentives. We have a great state tax credit combined with a federal tax credit, um, and it's important for people to be knowledgeable before they make a decision. The Solar Scene Breakfast, as we're calling it, is January 27th, and that's a Friday. We're doing it at 8 in the morning at the Columbia Museum of Art on Main Street. The neat thing about the museum is they have a solar panel installation on their roof, and you don't know it if you just go to the museum. So we thought that would be a perfect place to have everybody. We're going to um, have a light breakfast and plenty of coffee. And we're going to have a panel discussion with experts like Sarah and SCENG, and then businesses and residents who have solar on their facility, on their house or their business. And the good thing is the experts can give all the details like Sarah, and then people who've actually done it and know what to expect can give everybody the ins and outs, the real, what really happens. Mm -hmm. so the event is free. Okay. The breakfast is free. We just ask that people register online or they can call my office. And that's just so we'll have the right amount of coffee brewed. With the solar growth in South Carolina, it's important that, you know, just continuing to be a smart consumer as you would with any purchase that you make um, for yourself or your home. You know, getting multiple quotes, making sure the installer you're going to use is reliable, that they have references, um, maybe your neighbor has used them or some family members, but getting, you know, just making sure that you do your homework and are a smart consumer. And so this is just to empower people and give people the information and they can make the best decision for themselves. Solar energy is awesome. Um, it doesn't, and why we say, you know, with Smart Power and Solarize South Carolina, our job is to just educate people, because um, not everyone can go solar. Um, there's a lot of different factors, it, depending on your home, you, you need to own your home um, or business building, and then it, it has to not be shaded with trees, which can mm -hmm. be difficult in South Carolina. Um, and we love those trees, they serve a purpose, but you might not be able to go solar with too many trees. Um, and then, you know, making sure that the idea is to get as much of energy as you use in your home on your roof so that you've paid for solar. And once that solar's paid off, that's free energy. Um, so you're not paying both an, a utility bill um, to the electric company and paying for solar. You want to kind of cover the solar on your roof. But the benefits of solar are just awesome. I know people who went solar almost a year ago, their spring bills um, last spring were in the negative $20. And what's cool about that is in SCENG, in the city of Columbia, you can carry over that credit. You'll probably use it in the summer with air conditioning in mm -hmm. August, but that carries over throughout the year, resets in November, and then you start all over again. So if we have gorgeous, long, sunny days in the spring, you can actually kind of bank that to use on that air conditioning we use in the summertime. And while we're at the museum, we're going to tour their solar on their rooftop so people can look at it and see it and ask questions. We're going to learn how the solar has benefited the facility and the patrons. Mm -hmm. And why the business owner and the homeowner who are attending, why they chose to go solar and how it's benefited them since they've gone solar as well. It's going to be fun. And we have free breakfast and free coffee. And really, there's nothing to lose. Come out and learn about it, mm -hmm. become an educated consumer, and just see what happens. Yes, if, you if you've thought about solar at all, 
I mean, now is the perfect time um, between the tax credits that are out there and this is the perfect event. You have um, solar expert installers, people who have done it and the local utility to kind of all help you out and guide you and see if it's a good choice for you. If anybody's interested and not able to make the workshop for some reason, they can uh, sign up to see if their home looked good for solar at solarizesc.org or they're welcome to contact me, uh, Sarah, and my phone number is 727-2156. And they're welcome to reach out to me with any questions they have about solar energy or to see if their home looks good for solar. Anybody who wants to know more about what the city is doing sustainability-wise, you can go to the website, columbiasc.net, and go down under departments and go to CPAC. And we have information about recycling, air, water, energy, just about anything they would need to know. Solar, we've got a solar page, so I would encourage people to take a look and see what the city is doing and look and see what's out there, because there's a lot.